Like in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install our GPS trail map. The first thing you want to do is go to the website and sign into your account. In the upper right hand corner, there's a link to the sign in page. Here you type in the email address that you used when you bought your map and the password. That takes you to your account page. Here you have a link to your completed orders. Click that. Anything that you've purchased will be listed here and a link to the download files. So you want to click on that and you'll have the option of a Windows installer or a Mac installer. You'll also notice here that the version, the latest version of the map is listed here with the installer and the number of days remaining uh, for your download will also be listed. So in this case we're going to demonstrate the Windows installer. So you click on that and with Google Chrome the download progress is, is shown in the bottom ribbon. So you'll often get a warning indicating that that this exe file is, is not a commonly downloaded application and could be dangerous. Uh, that's normal. So if you click the down arrow and just indicate that you want to keep that file. Then it will switch to allow you to click the down arrow again and here you can show in folder which will show you where the downloaded file was placed on your computer or you can open it directly um, which we'll demonstrate here. It will give you an installation warning that, that asks you if you're sure if you want to run. We say yes we want to run. click on yes and you'll get the initial installation screen. So it's important that you run this installer even if you purchased your map on a micro SD card and the reason is that first and foremost it provides the, the terms and conditions for using the map. It also registers your map for any future updates so that when you eventually purchase an update installer it will know what maps you purchased originally and therefore give you the, the proper updates. Then the next thing it will do is install the files used by a Garmin Basecamp or if you're still using Garmin MapSource uh, it will install the files that those applications recognize. And that will be the second step in installing the map. And then lastly what it does is it installs the files used by the Android and iOS mobile apps. So we just click next here. You want to read through this terms and conditions, accept them, click next. We'll install the files onto your computer and then we'll give you the option to open up the XPackage user's guide um, and you can check that on or off uh, depending on on your liking. The X Package User's Guide is available anytime through a shortcut that is placed on your desktop. And we just say finish and that completes the, the download of our installer. The next step is to use either Garmin Basecamp or MapSource to transfer the maps from your computer to your GPS. So the next step is to download install, and install Garmin Basecamp from the Garmin website. So here you'll want to click on support and then you click on software, show supporting software and then you'll want to go to the mapping tools category. Uh, here you'll see um, the option to download Basecamp for Windows or Basecamp for Mac. Uh, map source is no longer available as a full install. It's only available as an update, I believe. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click on one of these and you'll see that the uh, latest version and the date is shown here and, and these are being updated um, fairly regularly. You'll see a, an update as late as uh, last month and um, you'll also notice that they, they fixed a bug in um, in the uh, the routing tool that we talked about in one of our other videos. 
file. So here we click on the download link. Once it's downloaded, you would install Basecamp onto your computer. So now that the installer has been run and the map file is copied to your computer, the next step is to run either Garmin Basecamp or Garmin MapSource. Uh, MapSource is no longer um, maintained by Garmin. So for 95% of you who are new to GPSing, you're going to run Basecamp. For those that are been doing this for a while and have been using MapSource and like MapSource better, you can continue to use MapSource. So we'll go ahead and start Basecamp. When you first bring up Basecamp, it will offer you this welcome video that will walk you through uh, how to, to use Basecamp and um, show you some of its features. I'm going to skip that for now. And you'll see that the Basecamp is brought up with the default map. Uh, I have this shown here in a, in a title bar, but you can also see your maps listed under the Maps menu. Uh, that's the default map. Once you've run our installer, our GPS trail maps get picked up by Basecamp, and then they'll be listed here. Again, if you don't have that on your menu, underneath the Maps menu, you'll see all the maps that Basecamp recognizes. So we'll go ahead and click on the map that we want to install. next step is to go to the Maps menu and click Install Maps. And this actually spawns another Garmin uh, tool called Map Install. Um, for this, you need to have your, your Garmin connected to your computer. Uh, if it doesn't show up here, uh, you can click Find Device. Um, it may take a second to recognize it. Um, you'll notice that, that the the Garmin Montana in this case, the internal memory of the unit and the SD card are um, can only be selected as a pair. So you, you cannot identify which location you want to install your map. If the SD card is in there, I found that the map will get installed to the SD card. Uh, so if you don't want to install to the SD card, I recommend you take it out of the GPS when you run this process. So one thing to point out here is um, it will tell you that, that you have a map that will fit on your GPS. Uh, we don't want to continue. We want to go down into the Customize because of the, the different maps that we have. Now, if you are installing a new version of the trail map over an older version, uh, some GPSs, like the Montana, will allow you to have more than one supplemental map on the GPS at the same time. So you could install the second map and keep the older version on the GPS, but I don't know um, the value of that. So if you uncheck this one, it will uninstall the old one, and then we place the check mark on the new one. Uh, to be installed. And then we still want to drill down even further and we click on the advanced partial install. Um, this seems to be some sort of problem that I suspect will get fixed. Um, it's saying it doesn't recognize these other maps so you want to ignore that and, and you don't want to delete um, your other map although in this case version 6.1 is going to get uninstalled. So here are your two maps. The inner map shown in the yellow outline is the trail map and we know that it's selected because it, its color is blue. The background map um, also is selected in this case as indicated down here two total maps selected uh, although it's shaded in green. If you right click on one or either map they'll be deselected, so now we're back to no map selected. So again, select the inner map to install the trails to your GPS. 
selected the background map to install the the reference features which include the the lakes river streams roads railroads etc uh, both maps combined uh, are significantly take up significantly more memory so in this demonstration we're going to install just the trail map and so at that point we can say continue we have one total map selected it says it's going to install our map we click install and in this case it's very quick um, it will not take hours as suggested by one of the screens that you see and that's it